one individual who is not playing this conference championship weekend, but who generated a ton of buzz yesterday by entering the transfer portal is none other than former Duke quarterback now, Riley Leonard. And Riley Leonard, I said it yesterday on a little uh, short form video. Again, another reason to be following on socials, at Jody Pakel, Twitter, Instagram, put it on TikTok even, at Jody Pakel across the board there. I think there's three potential teams to watch here. And those three teams, both of which I think have been mentioned the most, we'll get to it here in just a second. I want to make sure we say this. Whoever lands Riley Leonard is landing a first round caliber NFL quarterback. Like he's someone who you drop on the roster and immediately probably look at that win total a little bit differently. That's how good he is. I mean, we've seen how dynamic of an athlete he is. There's footage of him in high school doing like crazy windmill dunks. Dude's a freakish athlete. Also has a hose for an arm. So that's kind of where we stand right now. The school that gets the most buzz around him right now and probably feels the most confident is Notre Dame. And this makes a ton of sense. There's a proof of concept last year with Sam Hartman transferring from Wake Forest, playing in that pro-style offense. You would imagine he helped his NFL draft stock. You've seen a quarterback be plugged in there, have success. If I'm Riley Leonard, I'm saying, yeah, I, I like the way that looks personally. Now, what I just said, playing in a pro-style offense, the importance of that statement cannot be overemphasized. Like The fact that he could be in a system that an NFL team can say, well, we run that same kind of thing, come and play for us. One, it helps probably your draft stock, like I said. Two, it probably helps the transition for Riley Leonard when he does go to the NFL. So we have to imagine that's attractive. Also, this is kind of a cherry on top, uh, another academic institution in Notre Dame. So probably not a, not a ton of extensions coming your way when it comes to being able to uh, you know, get some more time on that assignment after a big win. Unfortunate, but I mean, the dude reads, all right? Big brain guy. You would have to imagine that would be a, a nice little added bonus for Riley Leonard. Now, what it means for Notre Dame, if they were to land Riley Leonard, This is Marcus Freeman, once again, pushing the envelope, doing what is true to his mantra within his football team and saying, we're going to challenge everything. You could go back to your depth chart and say, okay, we want to develop some guys, got some young young talent in that quarterback room. Maybe we go with them. He said, no, 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 go on proven commodity. We want to win right now. That is the standard at Notre Dame. We're going to find a way to get that done. We're not settling at the quarterback position. So I think you got to credit Marcus Freeman a ton if that's the way they end up going with a Riley Leonard. Now, Auburn is the other school that gets mentioned a lot for him right now. Riley Leonard is from the state of Alabama. He grew up or rather played high school football about four or so hours drive time from Auburn in Fairhope, Alabama. And the thing here is Philip Montgomery and Hugh Freeze, their offense in itself, I think, plays pretty well to his strengths. Kind of a dual threat RPO guy can can hurt you with his legs, which he would be able to do in that Auburn offense. He has a better arm than what Peyton Thorne brought to the table a season ago. Um, He'd be able to get into spring football and be able to probably get a better gauge for the system than Peyton Thorne had last year after missing spring football. So there's that. Again, I'm assuming that'd be the case with him already being in the portal right now. Um, They also have a really strong record of developing quarterbacks. Does Philip Montgomery and Hugh Freeze? I mean, Philip Montgomery worked with guys like RG3, Case Keenum. And you have to think, too, the filter of playing in the SEC for Riley Leonard would have to help his draft stock. No, you're not playing in the same pro style system that Notre Dame is, but if you play against the best of the best every single Saturday and let NFL scouts see that, I think at that point, your resume and your tape should speak for itself. So you would have to think that's attractive. So those are the top two getting the most buzz for a one Riley Leonard. There's one more school that I want to make sure we talk about here that has to be attractive, has to at least be in the conversation just a little bit, and that's Texas A&M. And A&M, yes, they're set at quarterback with Connor Wegman. Okay, I understand that. I'm not saying that you, you know, just totally kick to the curb the idea of building on what Connor Wegman's done to this point at AM. But if you're Mike Elko and you bring in a guy like Riley Leonard, there's continuity there between the two of them. Same thing is true with what I just said about Auburn with playing in the SEC. And if you elevate AM in Mike Elko's first year, you have to imagine that probably holds some weight to it for, for Riley Leonard with what it means about him being a winner and what that could mean for an NFL team. Also, I think when you talk about, you know, weapons between Auburn, Notre Dame, and A&M, I think A&M may have the most weapons out of that group for the time being. We'll see what happens after the portal cycle if they add more from Auburn or Notre Dame or what happens with A&M. But I'm just saying, like, I think that would have to be a little bit attractive. So a and probably the dark horse in this whole thing, if we're being honest. But again, Notre Dame and Auburn per Pete Nakos 
is uh, is being thrown around the most when it comes to the Riley Leonard sweepstakes. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll obviously have uh, more to talk about when he does commit, whether it's one of those schools or some other wild card that comes out of nowhere. But Riley Leonard is this portal cycle's Sam Hartman in terms of his impact and what he could mean for a number of different schools. Heck, he could end up being the successor to a one Sam Hartman in Notre Dame. So we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, that thing is going to be very, very interesting to watch because it'll have a massive impact for one of those teams, without question. A big part of this show as well, been one of the uh, one of the backbones, if you will, bringing you the hard count, is our friends at Prize Picks. Prize Picks, for those of y'all that have stayed up here, daily fantasy, easy withdrawal, kind of enhances your viewing experience from a game-to-game basis. Now, a lot of y'all understand, not everybody's playing this weekend. If you're an LSU fan or an Auburn fan, they're not taking the field this weekend. And that's not like you can't still enjoy this college football Saturday, but you want to enjoy it just a little bit more? Get a little prize picks going. Play some squares. Flex play, power play, doesn't matter. Redeem code JD, $100 deposit match. So, sorry, I'll, I'll rephrase that. 100% deposit match up to $100. So you put $100 down, prize pick says bada bing, bada boom. $100 free play, we'll match you with that. Let's ride, let's have a good time. Again, redeem code JD at sign up. So, I said this on our Tuesday show. We're ice cold. Ice cold. Haven't hit a prize pick play in a minute. Need it. Need it like a bad habit. So you can either fade us here, which is what I think probably our, our record would indicate you should do. Or you can say, you know what? Foxhole guy. I'm locking arms with my boys. Let's get in the bunker. We're due. Let's find a way. So I don't know. Shoot or shoot. We're going to keep shooting right now this weekend. Our flex play, meaning we do not have to hit all three of these, is Quinn Ewers and Jalen Milrow. Combined passing yards. They're at 485 and a half passing yards. That feels pretty high to me. I don't know if Jalen Milrow will be asked to throw the football downfield quite as much against this Georgia defense. And I don't know if Quinn Ewers is going to have to throw the ball downfield a lot against Oklahoma State. I think they'll do it, but I think Texas is going to roll. So we'll take the less there. 48, or excuse me, 485 and a half passing yards, taking the less there. You know, we've been a big more show this year. We're going to go ahead and take the less, kind of a self-fade, if you will. Now, seven and a half kicking points for Camden Lewis. So if he kicks a field goal, three kicking points, kicks an extra point, that's one kicking point. Prize picks is setting this, this number here, this total, at seven and a half. I think Oregon's going to score a lot of points. I mean, if we get two field goals and two extra points there, we're already hitting the more. So we'll take the more there. We like the more. In that same game, again, a little Friday night special. So get after this right now. Dylan Johnson, 82 and a half rush yards. We've been a big more show all season long. I've told you all, we want to see good things happen to good people. But the reality is, good things happen to good people includes us as an audience and us on this show. We want good things to happen to us as well. And the more has not been good to us. We're taking the less on Dylan Johnson, 82 and a half rushing yards. So we're going to flex play all three of those. To recap it, Quinn Ewers, Jalen Milrow, combined passing yards, 485 and a half. Good day for both cats at the office. I expect it, but we'll hit the less there. Camden Lewis, seven and a half kicking points. We're taking the more there. Dylan Johnson running back for Washington. I think they're going to have to throw the ball quite a bit against this Oregon defense. And I think that front seven of Oregon is just ferocious. So we'll take the less there on the 82 and a half rush yards. Going to flex play it. Again, in, in a flex play, we just need two out of three of these to hit for us to get some money. If all three hit, we make a little bit over our entry. If two out of three hit, we get 1.25 our entry. Now you can power play it if you want, but that's go big or go home. All or nothing kind of... Uh, kind of way to play there with price picks so again redeem code jd 100 deposit match up to 100 bucks we appreciate price picks we appreciate y'all hey let's have a day hey y'all thanks so much for watching subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of the hard count also be sure to check out other videos on the on three youtube channel